Hello everyone, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. This is MJ speaking. This is Link. And I've got a joke. I'm sure it's a humdinger. Right, I just need to um, alienate Yasuke quickly. That's preposterous, you fucking ignorant uh, prick. Person. Yeah, it's definitely a coincidence. It must be. Yeah. I mean, there, there is no plot to this game. It's just normal school. Just People just die. That's yeah. It. But anyway, back to your joke. I'm sure it's a crap Plot. Uh No, it's, yeah, it is. It, funnily enough, it is about Christmas. Uh, or possibly. No, actually, it's not directly about Christmas. Um, have you seen that you can download that brand new movie um, about the Christmas cocktail Snowball? Uh, it's called Snowball's The Movie. Um, I don't I, know where this is going. I would encourage that you download it illegally, but I am not advocating piracy. Uh, uh, That's a joke that I've just said out of my mouth. Yeah, close the channel. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to publish this. Yeah, I can't really apologise for that enough. I don't think that was the quality that we should be aiming for. No, we should we should at least aim high, but that was just aiming for the gutter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not making decisions. You yeah. Side bitch. She's a strong, independent woman. She can start fucking acting like it. Strong, independent woman who's flashing her fanny everywhere. Jesus Christ. I. Uh, Honestly, it's schoolgirls. Big fantasy in Japan, isn't it? Big fantasy in England. Oh, yeah, we probably should say that. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't saved in a while, actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just haven't been saving. Probably We're one should. hour and 20 minutes in. Nice. After school, after school bands. Shit, are we going hiking? What's happening here? <laughs> Get old uh, Sherpa Yosuke over there. We're in Dixon's now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're going into the stock room. It's wide and full of TVs. That's a big ass HDMI cable. Oh, <laughs> uh, you suk, we're gonna fucking chump you off all this game. This can doesn't involve you, me, see if we just quit. Can you actually push people to suicide in this game? Can't leave it alone, this doesn't involve me, uh, I'm worried. I don't know, I don't think so. Fuck. Oh well. What are we trying to do with your suk then? Just fucking get him out of our friend zone? I think he's just gonna start swinging. Just take down Dixon's or Curry's or whichever one we're in. Dixon's this episode. As a Dixon's. Ch 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 cheer! It's your boy! Isn't that like David Bowie oh. song? Ch 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 cheer! Ch 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 cheer! I've stooped to your level of jokes. <laughs> There's no way back, I'm afraid. Uh, Once you pop, you just can't stop. Pringle. <laughs> Was it so what I heard someone say about. Um, I'd love to try uh, fisting, but I think my instinct would take over and I'd end up reaching for a Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they make Pringles cans so small? Ah, oh, it's ridiculous. It, it, you, you, you grab the crisp, but then your hand becomes stuck. What happens to me is, I, and I, having literally only analysed what I do in the last 15 seconds in my head before I considered saying this out loud, I don't know why I do this, but I peel the foil off, but not all the way. I peel it until it's just almost on. I don't know, maybe just I'm lazy and don't like throwing things away and it's a subconscious thing that's affected oh, me. Oh, so you can't off. just get your hand out because the foil's still across the... Like, yeah, there. no, you can get the yeah, uh, yeah. you can get the crisp up to the foil, but then you have to awkwardly... I'm, obviously, yeah. I'm a fat man, so I'm not going to have one Pringle. <laughs> I'm going to have a small stack of Pringles. At least a quarter of a can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then it's an awkward game of fucking Twister with your hand in a Pringles pot. See, I haven't got particularly big hands. I have what I call Trumpitis. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, political. And, um, I still can't... I can get my hands down there, but I can't grab the crisps without just <laughs> crushing them into, like, unedible crumbs. Inedible. <laughs> um, or, like, with you, with the... I do think you do the same with the foil. So I managed to slide the Pringles yeah. all the way to the end, but then my hand has to contract to get past the foil, and I just <laughs> smash it into a thousand pieces. <laughs> oh, Pringles. Like, um, of mice and men. Like, I'm the sort of, uh... The big guy and the Pringles of the puppy. Oh, what's his I fucking name? I can't it too hard, George. <laughs> <laughs> the blade of rabbits, George. 
<laughs> I've never actually seen that film. But oh, yeah. there's so many iterations. I just know he it. smashes a puppy to pieces because yeah. he's over affectionate or something. And there's a dog called. Oh, good. There's that... a dog called. Cannot blur that. I'm fairly certain Graham's going to have to. There's a dog called. It's a fact. It's not <laughs> racist if it's a dog. <laughs> What? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, we're being nice to the bear. Hell no, don't label us like that sharp. No, apparently we're not being nice to the bear because we don't have the option. Uh, I'm just going to do that. That's probably the least confrontation. Yeah. Are you the bear? Oh, I'm yawning now. God. You can't bear it. Grin and bear it. Oh, yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Do you ever watch Tailspin? Winnie the Pooh. Are you just saying Winnie the Pooh over and over again? Winnie the Pooh. All right, okay. But have you ever seen Tailspin? Bears repeating. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Just, I know it's your house, but fuck <laughs> off. Tailspin. Uh, is that the Donald Duck Cousins one? No, Tailspin's the one um, with Blue the Bear from Jungle Book. Oh. Where he's like, flies a plane for some fuck. reason. With the goggles? Does he have goggles? I think so, and then okay. there's the young bear that goes on like a skyboard and hangs out the back of the plane in it. Oh, a baby case, bear, did you say? Youngish one, yeah. Yeah. The I... worst case of parenting I've ever seen. I do know what you mean, but um, I haven't thought about but it. I think literally one of the lyrics is um, Bear and Grin it, or something. Bear and Grin it? Yeah. Ridiculous. It's just like, that sounds a bit rapey for a kids' TV show. Bear and Grin it? Yeah, because it's like Tailspin it, then Bear and Grin it. But I think it's only oh, okay. on the full version of the song, which I was outraged that um, the full version of the DuckTales theme was taken off of YouTube. Oh, really? It's, you can't find it anymore. Wow. And that is the best music other than Fraggle Rock. It's Fraggle Rock? Oh, it's a Jim Henson show. I can't believe you haven't seen it. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah. We're on the way to Fraggle Rock. That's not it. That's not it. No. It's down to Fraggle Rock. But there's the, the rude version, which is down to Fraggle Rock, grab a Fraggle by his cock. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes on for a while. <laughs> but yeah, everyone loves the rude versions of... Uh, Childhood songs, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a, I'm not finishing that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when cherries are red, they're ready for plucking, and when girls turn 16, they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> ready for cherries, yeah. <laughs> Adequately terrify your women. <laughs> when girls turn 16, they're ready to take driving lessons, because that's the legal age. <laughs> oh, was it, uh, oh, something like um, Mary had... A lovely dress with a slit up the side. When she wore it, boys could see her thighs. Mary had another nice dress that had a slit up the front, but she didn't wear that much. <laughs> uh, there's loads like that, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's absolutely tremendous. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, God. Mary had a lovely dress. That had a slip. <laughs> what was it? Mary had a little lamb. She took me to a wedding. She tied it to a fucking post and kicked his fucking head in. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Like, I don't know why we thought that was funny as a kid. I've never heard it and I find it hilarious now, uh, so. I guess my friends as kids were just sociopaths. Well, <laughs> clearly like, Mary's a fucking tear away. <laughs> yeah. Kicks lambs in and then wears a revealing skirt. <laughs> Shows her c <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> one for Graham. Sorry, Graham. Hashtag sorry, Graham. Hashtag, um, hashtag one for Graham. Would Graham, would Graham be appreciated? <laughs> would Graham be appreciative if I used the c word less? Uh, you'd have to ask Graham. I'm sure he'll flash it up in the, uh, the thing. <laughs> oh god, that one about her her, her c on show is brilliant. <laughs> Like genuinely. Oh, poor Graham. I'm going to be saying that non stop. Nice. Mary is a little. I think slack. it was actually a girl who told me that. In a sort of swap of boys being crude and girls being lovely. I think Wait. it was actually a girl that told me that one. Nando's lads. Nando's lads. Lads on tour. Nando's is lads. I don't know why this guy has no head. He's losing his head. Wee. Still smiling though. Yeah. Does, does he still have feeling in the head or once the head's off, does that not? I think he is a purely anymore. supernatural being, so... Yeah, and this isn't real. I keep forgetting that. What do you mean, it's not real? Um, I mean, it is real, totally. Yeah. You're, you're controlling a real human being right you, now. Yeah, it's when we pause it, they just have to wait. I don't know why you would say that, yeah. yeah. I don't, can't get my head around that, I'm afraid, considering this is real, so... Yeah. Uh, he's asking us to fucking... Can't... It's like those... Uh, Adidas uh, or off-brand Adidas 
um, trousers with the poppers up the side. Oh, those trousers were great. I never had a pair because, you know, my family were massively poor. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's one guy in our year that always had one. And everyone, I had one, so I had a pair. And um, hey, everyone just went up to, them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, every time. These are absolutely bananas. Oh, very true. Just, why would you build trousers that to be ripped off stripper style? Yeah. Like, who thought that was a good idea? To be fair, you I mean, do need... Put the fake access. poppers on them. It's good to get access to the side leg. Yeah, um, I think it's for athletes, isn't it? So that when they're doing training and they've got their athletic shorts and kit on underneath, they can just take them off. Wow. Run on the track. No, I do as well. For I Monty. Sh- yeah, but they were always used by strippers, weren't they? Let's face it. <laughs> right, on that note. Yeah. Are you a stripper? Did you used to wear popper trousers? Yeah, any stripping stories? Any... Do you think that's a British thing? Popper trousers. It feels British. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if we have any American subscribers, they can tell us in the comments. Yeah. And did they have any embarrassing mishaps with the <laughs> people ripping them off in public? Actually. Are you on a register because of it? That's a really good reason to come back next episode. Uh, I have got an extremely embarrassing school story relating lack of clothes. Thanks right. for watching. We'll definitely hear that next time. Absolutely. Don't get aroused. <laughs> right. Bye, everybody. I was like 12. Oh, I'm definitely aroused now. <laughs>